we all form a bond with our loved ones, and that goes for the family pet, mm -hmm. too. But one couple here in the Wabash Valley has spent their married life together caring for a set of fluttering feathers. <laughs> News 10's Joseph Dames introduces you to a pair of lovebirds. Each day, outdoorsman Jack Ennis comes out this door with his hands full and a hum rippling through the backcountry air. For more than 60 years, Jack and Shirley have been flying by each other's side. I met her in high school. I went to service and I said, well, I've got to go finish college and all this, And but I decided no, I couldn't live without her, so I married her in 1952. But they've also spent the last half of a century married to these lovebirds. Probably 1960, and we've been feeding them every year since then. This is how the buzz began. But we fill these, the three of them, every day. If you put a little sugar in anything, the outcome is usually sweet. Just ask these guys. I always carry that upside down because I don't want to turn it over because mama doesn't like sugar water on the floor. But how those little guys can drink that much in a day, it's hard to believe, but we go through four pounds of sugar a week. But eventually the leaves turn red and yellow and the Ennis's feather friends fly south. And they know it's time for the cold to settle in. Uh, normally I say they leave around the 15th of September, but about a week or 10 days ahead of that time, they disappeared. And I said to my wife, I think we're gonna have a bad winter. But this year, after countless routines of filling the feeder, the Ennis's won't be there to welcome back the hummingbirds from vacation. It's gonna be tough, but it's time. It's a feeling sugar can't even sweeten. But after a bond between sugar water for over 50 years, with a bird's eye view from the bay window, the Ennis say goodbye to their family friends, who are about to be a selling point for the next family that calls this countryside home. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Cody Murphy. They go with the territory, because I, whoever buys this place, that's going to be one of my prerequisites for the purchasers. They're going to have to take care of the hummers. I'm Joseph Dames, News 10. I've always been fascinated wow. by hummingbirds. Yeah, me too. They're yeah. awesome. They're Just such to watch. delicate little uh, little birds, and apparently they predict a, a pretty good winter too. Uh -huh. So maybe I, that'll play into your forecast. You have for to get uh, one right outside the old mm, back door here. I like that. Yes.